What's up guys, today is Thursday. Y'all know what day it is. This big old gigantic Mack truck don't tell you. Ain't nothing else it will. Let's see what he's got, come on. Board's filling up, ain't it? We're down to 30 spots left. Man, alive. I've got a bunch of them on here. Like I got one or two I gotta get put on there still, but. In the Only book. 30 left, huh? Everybody can see their name as bought tickets. Old Brent Woods has got his scattered around everywhere, don't he? I think he bought five of them. Holy cow. So you got 115 as the last one, and then you got one, two, three, four, so it'd be 119, right? Yep, yeah, and then I got one that called this morning. I gotta get him put on there, so. Man, 120, so only 30 left. Yep. Yeah. Going quick. And uh, if we can get the rest of this board filled up and all 150 tickets sold, we got another little trick up our sleeve. We're going to try to get raffled, off, get raffled off as well before or finish it up at the meet up one or the other. So cool. Get your numbers in and see what else is coming. I didn't think they'd sell that fast. Did I, figured you not? They'd, I figured they'd have sold out, but I figured it'd been a lot closer to time because we pretty much still got two months left, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think they'll definitely sell. It, uh, it's going to be. Uh, I figure by this weekend when they, everybody sees it's down to just mm -hmm. that's all that's left, they're going to be, oh, I better get mine in. So. And for all the guys that may have not seen the videos previously, what this is, is this is all the names. There's 150 spots and a hundred dollars will get you a chance to win a brand new Maximizer Titan, which is the 12 foot long uh, toolbox. I'll put a card at the top and that way you guys can watch the video on how to enter. And then at the end of the video, there'll be a card of the actual box that you'll win uh, that we shot a video on showing how it's built and how it's made and powder coated on the inside. Like, I don't think there's nothing in that video that I skipped on that box. So that'll tell you all about it. But hundred bucks, you gotta come get the box. There's no taxes, no fees, nothing extra. And that card at the top will tell you how to enter it if you guys wanna enter if you hadn't seen that part already. So, there ain't many spots left, 30. 30, that's it. Well, I'm gonna tell you the little flashlight I bought from you last week, and I don't even think we put this on camera, on the, the video, is the Macro Stream by Streamlight. That is a good little old light, man. It is bright. That joker is very bright. It's almost too bright. I never thought I'd ever say that, but the only thing like I'll flaw I've seen about that light and had complaints on is everybody loves how bright it is, mm -hmm. but when they put it on the low, low's too low. Yeah, low is bad. Low, low's fifty lumens and high was five hundred. Yeah, but man, I like it. It's small. It fits in your hand good. Mm -hmm. I like it. I don't have no complaints about that little light. Got a new DeWalt fan. Yeah, it's, it's getting to be fan season. Shoot, yeah, it is. If you work very long in, in the shop, you're going to need a fan right now. Uh, the neat thing about this fan, being DeWalt, it is a 20 volt, flat, 20 volt fan um, that you can run on a battery, you know. I, I've had some people buy them just to go to kids' ball games and you oh, know, that's things a good like idea that. right there. Uh, they, they say if nothing else was blazing hot out there, at least have some air stirring, mm -hmm. you know. But you can also, if your battery goes dead and you're around to plug in, you can also plug this fan in. Just pull the flap down in the back and you got a cool plug in on it. And then if you can 
You can also, it's got these to where you can hang it. Hang it up on something. Yeah. That's pretty nice right there. So. Well, have you got the new impacts? Did they ever come in, the 400 footer? Some of our trucks are getting them. It's just a matter of time till they're gonna be at the shop one out. afternoon when I get there. Everybody's calling and asking about them, so. Well, I have to say, the vice grips that you guys have are awesome. I like them. I've been very pleased with the vice grips. They work good. I like the way they unlock. Well worth the money. Good deal. Well worth the money. That's what everybody's liked about liked about them so far. It's just how easy they release once they're yeah. tight. They you do know, work. Clamp good. down. You can just. I like them. Versus getting a screwdriver or something trying to pry them loose. I got some big truck tire spoons. These are the good ones here. That's got the flat part and then it curves down. That's my favorite ones. TA forty five. Yep, these are TA T forty five AC. That's a little different than the one that I have, but that's the same design. A lot of them don't have that right there, and that's what makes the difference mm -hmm. of them. Yep, those are the best ones right there. I think you're the only tire tool truck that carries the tire tools because I had to order mine. Really? And wait for them to come in because nobody could get them. Because there's a lot of times you'll need two of them, you know. I so. try to keep two. Um, they're usually somewhere on here. They may not be out to see, but I try to mm -hmm. at least keep two of them on here. Well, they um, work good. That's, that's, in my opinion, the best investment if you have to change big truck tires. And I used to keep a slide hammer, but it's just so heavy mm -hmm. that it's just hard to find a good place for it. Um, but I couldn't tell you how many times that I've been at a shop and then uh, somebody pull in, hey man, you got tire iron, you know? Yeah. So. They're handy. I left mine and or lost one and I need another one, so. It's easy to leave them jokers laying on the side of the road, especially when it's a hundred degrees like it is down here. You'd be hot and sweaty, ready to get back in that air conditioner and just forget <laughs> them. You'll end up getting one of them, <coughs> but you'll forget one of them sometimes. How's the little radio work? Pretty good. It works really good. Um, I sell a lot of these. I try to keep a couple of these Is that Bluetooth only or is it a... It's Bluetooth only. It's no radio. Okay. It's just Bluetooth. But, I mean, 90% of the time, anybody nowadays, they're only going to have it hooked to their phone mm -hmm. instead of trying to find a radio station. Um, but it's auxiliary. It's got your aux, aux cord, USB port. You run it on a battery or you can plug it in either one. Oh, cool. So, you know, if you're... It, just want to set it up in the shop mm -hmm. comes with the cord and leave it plugged in or you can take it with you and put your battery on it that's a nice looking little radio i mean too. it's a heavy little dude too i mean it's very well made oh yeah that can handle a drop or two yeah i know it's summertime and it's got all the rubber impact stuff on it and i wonder how long that thing would run off a of battery like a good while if you go out on a boat or something Cause like we stay out on the, the boat so long in the summertime that you kind of worry that the motor is going to start back. You know? <laughs> like you get up there, especially going to, you know, Pickwick at the, you know, the party cove mm -hmm. up there. You get up there and four hours goes by really, really, really fast. Especially if that cold draft beer that you get a state line boat ramp, it don't take long before you realize that you done been there about eight hours. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, you don't really look at the clock till it depends on what, what, what the inside the cooler looks like, you know. <laughs> yeah, but. that's true. What we do is get two gallons of beer, draft beer. Mm -hmm. We put them in the cooler with ice, and you pull one out drinking it. When it starts getting warm, you put it back in there and get the other one. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, buddy, you'll be feeling right by the time you get the bottom of two gallon <laughs> jugs. <laughs> like, you were feeling good, like... It don't even bother you that it's hot outside no more. And they've done that up there for years. I know, it, and it's a great time. So You can go over there to that waterfall and see some of the most idiotic things you've ever seen in your life. It's a great day. Like, I, I could see where the fan and that radio would come in super handy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, talking about the waterfall up there, it, years ago, I bet I was... I may have been 13, 14 years old. 
first time I ever went to go off the waterfall, I was going to swing out on the rope. Well, I got scared, didn't want to let go. Oh, no. That's a bad thing. Yeah. But the way the rocks come out at an yeah. angle. But, but I hung on long enough to get all the way back in and go back out the second time. And I dropped the second time. But when I landed, and I was already sunburnt like crazy, mm -hmm. I landed and landed on my side instead of on my feet. I guess the way I let go, you know, I don't know. Um, you know, it's slick up there too. Oh, yeah. I, um, I landed on my side, and I, my whole right side was just bruised like blue and purple. We seen a girl up there. She did the same thing. She was going to go out, but she got scared to let go. And then when she come back in, she was about a quarter of the way back in, and I guess her hand slipped or whatever. Or maybe she finally got the nerve to let go, but the way the rocks go at an angle, she hit her hip like on the side of that rock. Mm -hmm. I thought, uh oh, this girl's going to be hurt. She probably would have been if she hadn't been inebriated so bad. <laughs> Cause like she was pretty floppy, yeah. Like she she was sloshed pretty good. I think if she had had a lot of rigid parts to her body, as far as sober, where yeah. she had tensed up, it would have probably broke some stuff. But mm. I bet you she had a bruise the next day, buddy. Cause that hip popped that rock. And I was like, mm. I've seen a bunch of people do that up there, or they'd go to run and jump off of it, and they slip by the time yep. they get the end of it. And you better be wearing some tennis shoes. Yeah. Because you, you will touch bottom from time to time, depending on lake level. <laughs> yeah. It ain't but about 10 foot deep is all yeah. that water is right there. Boy, it's fun, though. There ain't nothing on earth like it. If that lake ever drained, it'd hate to see what's in the bottom of that cove. There's no telling how many billions. It's way over millions of beer oh, yeah. bottles that's in that thing. It's in the billions, at least. Absolutely. I guarantee you. But good times right there still got a few of the monster tray sets that need, need yeah there's the green ones for you guys that like that green we got green and black don't you or are you a just gonna few black green? there's a few black left yep there they are but y'all better get them if you want them because i figure if there any are still here by there the, won't by ever the time be no memorial more. day weekend gets here they'll be gone yeah that's true. That's so, going to be a fun time, man. I'm looking forward to it. A lot of, a lot of people that has uh, called about the rifle have said, hey, man, I'm coming, I'm mm -hmm. coming, you know. Yeah, I've had a lot of people, um, you know, I've recognized some of their names from comments in the past, you know, like, hey, we got our motel book, and we're looking forward to it. And it's going to be a good time, like. The band is jamming, that's for sure. It's going to be some fun. I'm looking forward to forward to the day. It, uh, it's going to be a good turnout. Yep. I think so. Well, did you get any of the other flyer stuff in that you've been waiting on? Finally got some, uh, some of our back order flyer stuff came in and, uh, Got some of it delivered this week, so uh, new flyers coming up, so mm -hmm. gonna be some good deals in there. So if you guys hadn't seen that flyer, there'll be a card at the top. You can check it out. There's some pretty good deals in that one. There is. So, so that's a good good flyer there. It uh, got one one hammer bundle left from the last flyer. The big dead like blow some, bundle, five yeah. piece dead blows. So all the big orange ones. That's a bunch of hammers right there. But. Yeah. Well, I don't guess I need nothing today, thank goodness. I'm looking forward to seeing that new impact come in. I wanna, I definitely wanna try that joker out. From all, all what yeah. is this thing? Body you hammer tool. Teach me something with that. That looks like a medieval torture device. <laughs> For like a, under a bedside or something uh, that you can't oh, really get yeah. into, you can, and the Joker's got some weight to it. Cause I mean, That's you, a crazy looking heifer, if, ain't if it? If you gotta have it to get into an odd place, I mean, you aren't gonna have much swing room with it, so. Man alive. It's got some weight So I'm gonna tell you what, if you walk in your girlfriend's house at 15 year old and her daddy's holding one of these, just leave. Yep, that's exactly what I'd do. Just leave. 
That's a crazy looking contraption right there. Can't say I ever seen one of them. What'd you have done if you'd have walked in and your daddy in law had been holding it right there when you walked in the door? Probably seen how quick I could find the door. <laughs> That's a crazy looking rig. That's another. See, that one looks more normal. Yeah. I've got a little body hammer. It's got a head on it like that. It's just a flat head. Of course, mine's got a little spike on the end, but I actually use mine to pick seals in because the way that head's made, I like it. Yeah, that's a normal looking hammer. That wouldn't scare me near as bad as that. You can still do some damage with that tip. Though. Oh, yeah. Looks like one of them back of them tomahawks the Indians used to have. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm gonna get you paid up and get back in here and get some work done. Like always, guys, thank y'all for watching. Um, you wanna get in on that right there, be sure to go back and watch that video and that way you'll know how to get in to win that Titan box. Like always, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes is in the description. We got some new stuff in there. And like always, if you're not subscribed, take your finger, click the button, it's free. It don't cost you a dime, just press that button. You guys have a great week and we will catch you next time. See ya.